pretty lady. Oh! <laughs> don't be in it. Don't be in it! <sighs> Wait. What is this? Do I smell a good indie horror game? <laughs> <clears throat> Hold on, let me get presentable. Uh, an episodic heart fears to fathom. <gasps> no, this kind of looks good. Hold up a second, we're doing this. So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome to Fears to Fathom, Northwood Hitchhike. Now you guys may remember the term Fears to Fathom because it is a game series that we did play in a three random games a couple of months back. It was a very, very <gasps> good horror game. Now before any of you go clicking off this video thinking, hold on, I ain't seen the first episode. Hold on a second, let me explain. This is an episodic horror series where basically every single new episode is an entirely new story. So you don't have to see the first one to understand the second. Hold on, hold on, you yeah, Sith man going in like Yo, I'm kind of scared though. Fears to Fathom Episode 2, Norwood Hitchhike. June the 16th? Okay, I'm kind of down, man. I'm ready for a good horror experience, and I think this one's gonna tick that box. It's that void that gets filled in between puppet combo. But this happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now, and I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet first, but getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. So that's the basis for these. It's like internet horror stories re-envisioned in this style here. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I'd get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been way too expensive. This convention I was at when great and it was now the day to drive back home but when i set off i soon realized the traffic was horrible i decided that i'd take the long way to avoid the traffic you made a bad decision here man it was a little over a 12 hour drive dang that's that hefty drive my goodness me that's not including like pit stops toilet breaks goodness me so here we go we're taking that drive Hey, there you go. There's the tempo. So we're driving down. Uh, yeah, you might want to put your foot down. No wonder it's a 12-hour drive, bro. This is literally a 0 to 60 in 59 seconds. What the freak? The glary sign. Aiden Williams. So press escape to read messages. Stuck in biggest traffic jam of the country. That sucks. It's not too good here either. I think the people from the convention. Hold up. I'm stopping my car when I do that. You see? That's it. I'm rerouting. You got to do what you got to do. And then we got another message from dad here. You called? Yeah, I think I'm going to that convention. Can I get your car for like five days with who? Aiden. An internet friend? He's a nice guy. No, you're not going on a 10 hour drive by yourself. Well, I've already made up my mind. I'll drive you. Why don't you understand anything? Let's talk when I get home. All right. So I see what's going on here. So I guess the dad in the end was like, you know, you go ahead and, uh, you know, just go on your own little way. So father was kind of chill about this in the end, which is uh, ultimately the main thing. Had some fun at the convention. Now we go. I'm going to assume that's my radio making those bizarre sounds here. Hey, let's put my foot down. we got to go home, guys. Part of the drive. We cut out the traffic for this right now. The scenic route with rusty barbed wire and all sorts of weird bullcrap. This is where those stalkers live, by the way. They're trying to hunt you down. Hey, f oh! Ooh, yo. <laughs> I thought I was about to crash right now. I don't trust myself. Dad's texting me. Dad, you want me to come home or not? I'm, I'm driving, man. Where did you reach? I'm still about six hours away from the city. I got stuck in a jam. Um, all right, that's as far as we go with the messages and we just keep going. So six hours away, we're only halfway through the trip home. Hey guys, you hit that like button yet, by the way? Yeah, I appreciate you a lot. Um, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Near halfway through the drive, I realized how low I was on gas. Driving at night is really therapeutic for me. Well, at least it used to be. Hold up a second, let me just back up a moment. You see this, uh, no, that's not a driver. I was thinking maybe I could turn down there and go. Nah, man, we can't do that, so... We keep moving. I mean, driving at night is kind of therapeutic. I hate driving down the highway, though, at nighttime, especially when the other side of the road is super busy because they all got their lights on. You feel like you can't see a single thing. It's weird. It's like sometimes looking at signs and stuff. My vision goes a little bit blurry. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be driving, though. Hold up. Dad texts me again. Told you to take that flight. I mean, maybe he did. Maybe he did. Probably would have got us home a little bit quicker, at least, because this is uh, kind of rough right now. Still know where to get petrol. Dad messaging us again. Oh, Holly, it's going to be late when you get back. I hope you're feeling all right. Yeah, Dad's kind of nice then. He's like really wanting us to get back safely. So we got that supportive father. I appreciate you, man. All right. Gas station. Excuse that truck out of the way. Yeah, we need some gas. So pull up a second. Hello? Uh, this place. Yo. I don't think my dad's about to support me after that crash, though. You know what I'm saying? Space to get out. Let's go. Pull up the handbrake. Uh, we need that petrol. Anyone else around here, though? Uh, we can actually do some exploration. It's kind of nice how at any point you can stop off, look around this place just to see what's going down. So my man is stocking up the showers. We'll go behind this place. We've got the guy behind the counter. Hey, what are you scared? 
literally don't care. Uh, we got the Shrek dumpster station. We'll leave that to it. Uh, why, why am I behind this door? What the freak am I doing, though? Hey, let's go inside. I'm gonna need some gas. Uh, pump number two, I believe it was. So, uh, let's go talk to the guy. Hey, how's it going, man? You feeling well? Ma'am? Hi, can I get $10 on pump two? It actually was pump two. Yo, hold up a second. So, mom text. Uh, let me just leave this conversation really weirdly and pull out my phone. Holly? Mom? Okay, we're having a conversation with our mom. Uh, or at least we were. Because that didn't go very far. Okay. Hey, fella, how are you doing? How's your night going? Where you headed? Uh, maybe we should ask how his night's going. He just looks at me. Flexing his arms. Hey, what are you about to do? You gonna try and throw hands on me, dog? Look at your fucking face, though. Okay, so it's just me and this other guy in the store, I believe. Uh, this place literally only sells liquor, though. Like, look at this. We got liquor, orange juice, small table to sit down and chill for a bit. Uh, he worked there or something? Like, I don't think he does. Let's talk to my guy again one more time, sir. We want $10 on pump number two. Fill me up, sir. The awkward sound. I guess we're done. You heading to the bridge by yourself? The bridge? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. What do you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. Uh, <laughs> can I use the toilet? It's not cleaned. So... Well, you want me to just straight up, like, poop on the floor then? Yo, this- this ambience, these synthy waves and this guy here. Are you really shopping here, sir, or not? You heard about the Norwood Valley Monster? Huh? The Norwood Valley Monster? Big mistake. Okay. Now, why are you saying big mistake, though, sir? Like, who's about to be making the mistake tonight? Me or you, huh? Let's ask where he's headed. He just looked at me, so he don't want to talk at all. Alright, we got our ten dollars. And one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Who is she? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Why are we talking from across the store? Regardless, she's out for blood! Okay, do you want me to just come closer, sir? Whatever you do, never ever under any circumstances pick up a hitchhiker! Bro, I can- I, we can talk like face to face, you don't need to shout. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. Thanks for creeping me out as much as you could. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who's this guy back there? Hey. He's getting in the white van, you see this? Is that my other guy over there? Oh, he's out. He didn't waste no time, all right. I'll hop in my car and I'll check what the texts say. I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're going out for dog food. Could you get some for Milo? I'll pay you back. Sure. So I guess we go back in the store. We look for dog food on this occasion. You know, maybe it's best we do actually spend the time to look in the store. Let that dude get some road, you know? Maybe he's not gonna stick around and think we're gone. Hold on. So this is not the man doing the creeping. Hold up. Dog food right there. G to throw. So do we maybe pay him right now? That'll be five dollars, ma'am. So we pay. All right. We got some pooch food. Good stuff. Helping our mama. Look at this being that good door. Even in this late hour. Pop the boo. Want to pop this guy in there. Maybe throw it in and close that. That should be good, right? I hope the game doesn't like glitch out or something. Back in the saddle. Let's do this. All right. We got the pooch food. Did we tell our mom? We didn't, but we've got it anyway. Look, we know that, guys. We'll get home, show her the pooch food. She'll be like, oh my god, Holly, you're such a fantastic daughter. I brought you up so well. I'm not sure why, but at first, I went on without getting gas. Wait, hold up. We just got the gas, did we not? Uh, I'm about to back up nice and quick. There you go. So we had to actually click the pump. Now we should have a full tank of gas. Okay, I filled the tank and I was off to the road again. Dude, I nearly started driving away from this place with no gas. I paid for the gas and I was like, yeah, okay, now I'm leaving. What the freak, Holly, what are you doing? Woo, another car gone past. Hey, don't pick up any hitchhikers, man. Don't go ahead and do that. We've been warned. You should have stopped off here for some gas got the warning. All right, we're good though. So we don't need to worry about the car stopping. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. What is that? Monsters truly do exist. Yeah, your night's just getting started, isn't it? And every single one of them looks just like you and me. Hold up, Mom. Let me just round this corner. I don't want to go crash in my car. We got a straight stretch of road here. Is it not expired or anything? Surprisingly, it was dog food and we got it. Yeah, we got it. Um, yo, uh, don't hold your horn. Put the lights back on. What's going on? Uh, hello? Can I get my lights on, please? That's more like it. There you go. I ain't driving in the dark with no lights around me and my lights busted up. What the heck? That's like the most dangerous thing ever. I think you'd be the monster running someone over. All right, let's go. So we've got a car. Is that one moving though? I think it is just about a little bit ahead of us. Ooh, sorry about that. My man's going to think I'm flashing him. Do I want to overtake him or something? Yeah, these lights are whack. Dude, he's going to have like some... He's not having a good time in there if my lights are flashing like that behind him. No wonder he kind of pulled up. Uh, dude... You want to hurry up, though? We'll just tailgate him. We'll get the lights from him. We'll be good here. 
You, what are you doing? You want me to, like, ram into the back of your car or something, you moron? There you go. Now he puts the foot down, gets away from us. I mean, to be fair, he probably thinks I'm the one doing the creeping, you know what I mean? Like, driving right behind him. Turn my lights off. He has got to be suspect as freak, you know? Holly, it ain't looking good. I know it's not your intention, but right now, I think all eyes are on you for being that weird monster. Okay, my lights are back on. That's good, that's good. Keep going down the road. Don't think about the apparent monsters that exist out there. The only things that's creeping us out, at least right now, they're in our mind, man. I ain't seen a single thing I should be concerned about, you know what I'm saying? It's that paranoia, you know, when you hear things that don't exist and you start to think about it, that's when it gets the better of you. Like this morning, I was making a coffee. It was still dark outside, guys. I always get up, like, super early in the mornings, and I kept hearing, like, floorboards and things creak, and I got so paranoid, I started looking around the house like, is someone else awake in this thing? No one was, but it was kind of weird. Okay, uh, now back to the game. This road's looking a bit trashed up. This is the bridge. He was talking about the bridge. He said, don't stop on the bridge, and especially don't pick up any hitchhikers or a woman wearing, like, a blue or a white gown. Okay, let's get over this thing. This is quite the bridge. Whoa, I didn't realize it was like this. I thought we were talking, like, you know, 10 meter, 15 meter bridge. This goes across a fairly significant river or lake or something like that. Nearly over, though. No problem. No problem at all. Like, that's paranoia for you, what we're saying, guys, you know? You think about the bad things that happen. Yeah, generally then you just start living in the moment. Nothing is actually bad. Like, you just gotta take it chill more so, you know? Don't fret. Just keep it calm. Also, this road looks trash. I'm gonna crash. Dude, if I, like, for real, if they don't put the road... Hey, I was just about to say my light's cut. We got a problem here. Um, nah, we're still good. We're still good. Uh, okay, there's a caddy right there. That looked kind of busted up. You see that? Wait. Whoa, whoa. Woo! Yeah, you go across, bud. Uh... The throat. That sounds- is that a cat with a hairball? <laughs> I know my sound effects when I hear them. That's not like a cat about to cough up a hairball or something right there. Okay. Okay, we've got another bridge here. Uh, what, what the- what's the point in that? There was like nothing going on right there. Okay. There's this very weird thing about that night. I saw two big logs in the middle of the road blocking the way ahead. What do you want to do? That's my car running. Okay, let's hop out a second. Do we want to move these things? No flashlight. We don't even want to use our phone. So, what do we want to do? Can we, like, move them or something? Those were heavy. Dang, Holly! You live! Look at that! We're moving these things. Let's go. Let's go. Keep moving them. Keep moving them. I don't feel like we're solving the problem right now, guys. You see this? I don't know. Ooh, maybe we are. Maybe we are. Uh, use that mind power. Okay, we don't have none. Move it some more. We'll move this one. That's it. Part those things. Part oh, no, wait. We need to go this side. It's like they drag the direction we walk in. It's almost like we're pulling that, so there you go. Make a nice opening in the road, a little bit more. I think the car should be good about there. Yeah, we should be fine. Mind control, come on, move this way. Yes, yes. Why am I scared? I'm, I'm a wizard. We just saw what I could do if I just put my mind to it. That's some talent right there, Holly. All right, Holly Potter. I know the second name now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, hold on, hold on. Uh, let's try that again, Holly, one more time. No, no, we don't want that. Um, yo, my car won't start. Can we? Come on. Come on, get going, get going. Dude, the car wouldn't start back up. Uh, you think I'm getting out of this car, I'm locking these doors. I am not leaving this thing. Just kidding, I think we gotta get out. Do we have to check something? Are we... Oh, we popped the boot. We popped the boot. What is the issue? A fuse blown or something like that? And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. Is this the place? I'm not saying that I was starting to believe whatever the bullcrap that station clerk pulled, but I'll be lying if I say it didn't feel the slightest of unease. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but throughout my life I was told not to take rides from strangers. Oh, is that the follow-up though? Hold up a minute, hold up. But at that moment, I had no choice. So there's gonna be another car. If it's that white van, we're in trouble. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone else to pass. You don't want to be trapped out here where there's that weird urban legend, right? Maybe we're partly believing it. Uh, I'm gonna hop out right now. Please don't kill me. We took the ride. 10.23 p.m. Um, ooh, hey, it's ghostly out here. I saw a car nearing. From which direction? Oh, I see, I see. Hey, I'm pitching up, I'm pitching up. Ooh, you see that? Whoa, hey, dude. Yo, you see the way he just beep like that? If I was standing here, I'd be dead. Pure evil. He's been told about this thing too. I don't understand how somebody could leave another human being just stranded like that. You got a thing, man. What color dress you wearing, huh? What's your clothes sense? Are you the blue gown lady? And it fades out again just like that. 10.43 p.m. What are we- hold up, can we somehow like stop a car right now? I'm trying to think like, how could we actually go ahead and do this? Oh, 
okay, it's getting ghosty. Like, I don't want to stand here, you know? If my clothes are that blue sense, I don't think we're going to be leaving in that car. We'll be leaving, like, on the bonnet, then on the floor, a little bit after, you know what I'm saying? Another car, another car. Do I stand here, though? Hey, uh, can you stop, please? Please! please. Man, just ran me over and kept going. What the freak? What am I supposed to do right now? Look at my car, try and figure this out. What can I do here? I don't want to go walking in the dark, just nowhere. Are we hearing this? Uh, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, they stopped. Uh, excuse me. Run that sideways action. You actually do move quicker this way, guys. So there's people chatting in the car. My man from the gas station, huh? What are you planning out here? You're the girl from the gas station. Thank you so much for stopping. I didn't think anyone would be stopping here for me. Let's say that one. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help and there's no phone service. Do you think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Just the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Is he superstitious or is he the bad guy? Um, okay, we might find out in just a sec. Uh, ooh, all right. More ghostly sounds. I see you, I see you. So we need that stuff from the boot. Pop that, uh, yes. dog food, yes. I only had two hands, so yeah, we're doing two trips, I think. We've got our backpack and the dog food. Throw those in the boot right there. Uh, yeah, one more winner, so hold up a second, we'll go back. It's hard to make, like, prejudgmental things about this guy. What about if he does turn out to be the good guy in all of this? You know what I'm trying to say, guys? So take that, take that. My skate deck and my hat now. Nah, we can't leave that in the car. No way. Throw them in, man. Throw them in. All right. Two more things to go. Throw those in. All right. Looks good to me. Uh, we don't want to flip the boot or anything. I guess he'll do it before he drives. We're good. You need to hurry up. I don't have all day. Can you help me get my stuff? It's not safe to get out here. Very superstitious. I'm done. All right. Let's go. Finally. Now hop in. Be quick. Yo, he's scared. What are you looking at now? Let's go. Get in his car. All right. We're doing this, man. We're doing this. And we're leaving. Don't be creepy, sir. Please be that nice guy. Here we go. All right, so we just kind of take it chill. We got nothing else we should really be doing here. Up on the right. I can still hear, like, a woman's voice chattering or something. Like, I don't know about that. So you won't tell me who you are or where you're going, right? I'd rather not say if that's okay. I live really close from here. I was driving home. We can say that. And that piece of crap broke down on me. Jason. What? My name's Jason. I'm Holly. It will be somewhat introductory just so he knows who we are. That could be a bad thing, though. Like, we don't want him thinking we're getting too friendly and he gets creepy, you know what I'm saying? You're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say, you are one brave young woman. How was that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was the battery? I mean, sure. Are you sure? It's my dad's. It's pretty old. Okay. He seems to have some kind of deeper understanding than, uh, I guess, us of what went down. Also, for a man talking about hurrying up, you don't have to drive slow, bro. So sorry for judging you. So what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? Uh, he really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. Left mouth button to talk. So, is it true? Ooh, what, the monster? Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are. There are some things. I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen. I don't want to sound like a moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. Okay? Uh, thanks, thanks, man. man! So we don't bother them, and we also ourselves will not be bothered. Okay. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. Alright, it's okay, man. It's all good. I'm trying to clear the air a little bit. So, don't bother them, and we won't be bothered. What is that in reference to right now? Is it something we may be seeing down the line? Perhaps wherever we're headed to from here on out. Maybe we got something bad following our way. So one and a half hours worth of driving. This guy was pretty cool. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently they offered roadside assistance. And besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. You talking about yourself? What the monsters truly in this place, sir? Oh, look at that. We got the tow truck. Hey, he wasn't lying about that. Motel over there. This must be the uh, main reception, so not approved for occupancy. Before any person, uh, that's not great, though. You want to see approved for occupancy, you know? Side A. Hey, man, how's it going? How's it going? Roadway in. The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Yeah, I need some room to shack up for the night. How much is it for a room? Uh, yes, I'm only going to be here for a few hours. $40 for single. Pay cash only. All right, uh, throw him his cash then. Get it done. Room number nine, right over there. Talk about the car. $90, Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. We pay more money. 
We just coughed up $130. Good, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wait near the guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Okay, sir. All right, I hear you, I hear you. Now, I think we need to pay attention to what this guy's saying. Maybe he's not the bad guy, you know? Maybe he's the good guy. So, we can only take two things at once. Um, all right, we just leave it there. We, we'll just leave it there and collect it in the morning. Let's do some exploring behind here. Look, we can look. Ooh, some of these lights beaming on through. Can we go ahead and peek through some windows? We really shouldn't be doing that, though. That's kind of creepy. I ain't gonna lie. Is that you? Uh, number four. He said don't. Hey, why are you leaving the door open, then? So this is the motel. What the freak? What is this place here? We can't open that. Maybe an abandoned section. I would kill to have a light, though, just so I could check the surroundings a little bit more, you know? Not just walking past these here. Whoa, 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 hey. Being spam. Hey, calm down, man. We got Aiden, Mom, and Dad messaging us. Dad, I have to stay at the motel, not delivered. Holly? And then we got this. Hey, where you at? Your dad's calling me. Oh, man, and my dad can't see that I'm staying. What the heck? What is this? Um. Uh, uh. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna leave that strange obelisk alive right there. Here we go. Number nine right there. Before we head in, let me just see. Uh. Number four was the only door of concern. They left that door wide open for some reason. Everyone else seems to be treating this place as it is. You know, just a motel taking a snooze. So let's do it. Key room number nine. Hello? It was nice and warm inside. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. What? Now, lock the door. Don't reopen it, man. Except there was a smell. A type of musky smell you get from an old house. Bro, are you serious? Couldn't have slept there. What the freak? I got scammed though. <laughs> ah! Bro, what the freak is with your face? What are you doing here? You scared the cop out of me. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Tommy. Room seven's here on the roadway in. The finest stopover in Norwood. What were you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. Guy at the front desk gave me this room. <laughs> Ah, I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. Yeah, I'll just get my stuff. Bro, look at your face. This place has that 80s vibe, okay? We got the TV. Uh, yeah, we'll turn that off for now. We'll leave Tommy in here to do his thing. We'll just wait outside. Uh, do we get our stuff then? It was just across the way here. Like, maybe we do? Okay, Tommy's uh, an interesting character. Maybe Tommy and this dude at the front, maybe they're both gonna be some interesting characters. Okay, so we get my stuff. I really needed me some energy soda. This late at night, though? Are you seriously want to do that? Uh, we've got the cola, new chocolate soda can. There it is. Buy that one. Processing. Consuming these items increases your sprint speed. What are we talking about? So we got that. Consume. Let's get it. So we must feel better then, right? Maybe we can move a little bit quicker. Uh, yeah, dude. Yes. Oh, yeah, look at the movement when we do the crab walking. Okay. It is room number nine. Tommy's still here. Uh, hey, Tommy, I'm going to get my other stuff. Hold up. Right, that'll be the last of it, so we'll throw this in there. Uh, Tommy, you mind leaving, though? Thanks for making the bed and stuff. I mean, it looks nice, but I want some privacy right now. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't worry, it's safe here. I'll go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> but you have a good night. Hey, Tommy, uh, yeah, when you go and give me the, uh, you know, the skeleton key for this room. Yo, I don't trust this dude. I do not trust this guy one bit. Look at the way he creepily stalks back, bro. What the freak is wrong with you? We can't slide the paper out from under there. I was hoping we could do a little bit of looking at that. Can we open that? Dude, why does this feel like this is about to be like my hiding spot in about four seconds, you know? Holly tooks away some... What? Hello? Yo! Are you kidding me? This game has microphone use. This game has microphone use. No way. Oh my god. I am scared about sleeping through the night. Close your eyes, Holly. We should have drew them blinds. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you. Wait. Um. Oh. Hey, can you back up? He's coming in the door. Call it a foresight. But there was something very off about this place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember that mic cues, guys? I couldn't shake the feeling that something wasn't right. My bathroom's making noise. Though. The feeling of tiredness was overcome by anxiety. Guys, I am freaking out right now. A hot cup of coffee would help. But... What? Wait, am I leaving? I don't want to leave this place. I legit don't want to leave. We saw the man at the window already. Phone doesn't work. You want to go back outside and get a cup of coffee? Woo! 
Yo, I don't... Oh, I really don't like this. I don't know who that was. That looked like Joe. It felt like it was Joe standing there. Guy at the reception. Yeah, he's still just chilling right there. Should we go and talk to him about this? Maybe see what he says? You have a great night's sleep. Yeah, I will do with creepy people staring at me. Thanks. So wait, do I get the coffee from here? Because this is just like a dispensary machine. It doesn't look like it's going to do anything else. Uh, where the heck did I see the coffee, though? Hold up, guys. I want to check room number four. I just couldn't go into any room. Ironically, this is where the coffee is, too. I'll buy the cappuccino, you know. We need that energy. We don't want to go see it. Look at that crusty mug, by the way. We'll just consume it. Wanted the coffee. All right, we're good now. Don't anyone please come up on me, please. Hello? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hold on. Yo. Oh my God. Guys, we drank that bad coffee. We drank that bad coffee. Go back. They put, they slipped to be kidding right now. Let me look behind. What am I trying to see? I don't see anyone there. Oh my gosh. Dad, I'll respond in a sec. Oh, I'm seeing triple right now. Let me see the... We can't even see the messages. Dang, they ri can we get through? Close it, close it. What the freak? Um, I think I should... What the was that? See to crouch? Are we powered? What's going on? I can barely see anything. This is tripping me out. I'm getting into bed. Do I want to sleep this off? I can't see anything right now, guys. Okay, okay, okay. What did we just consume? This was rigged. This was highly rigged, man. 3.18 a.m. This is five hours later. I was sedated. Were we about to wake up though? Where the freak we about to wake up? Hold up, hold up. The phone rings. I thought the phones didn't work in this place. Space to get up. What the freak? Um, okay, all right, all right. Yo, this feels incredibly bad. Pick up the phone. We shouldn't have done that. We should not have done that. Guys? You hit. It's like the phone signal coming through. Someone's calling. Like, I don't know what to do. I ain't going back to bed. I am not going back to bed. Do I want to? I, I kind of want to hide in here. Don't be in it. Don't be in it. <laughs> Why is he in my hiding spot? Wait. What? What happened? Wait, wait, was that the end of the game? Oh, wow. I thought it was about to make me start a new game, so auto save. What the freak was that? Hold up. We didn't see this last time. Oh, so the person at our window? Number four, huh? Number four. That was the one with the door open at the very beginning, too. I'm going to try and buy the espresso just to see if that gives a, a different outcome to this situation. Uh, yeah, we still trip out, so same situation. You can even see him climb in there. And I went ahead and opened the door on him. Are you kidding me, man? Yo, I want to leave then, right? I didn't feel safe going out. So, wait, what do you want to do then? Crouch? But we know where the danger is. We know where the danger is. It's in there. Wait, what are we trying to do here? We can see outside looks kind of clear. You... Like, what the freak, dude? This is kind of messed up. I want to leave. I, I am going to open that again. We had the phone ring last time. Do we go in there, maybe? What... What do we do, though? Close that door. Light beaming through. We see... Wait, what? Wait, I didn't press anything. So we had to get a drink or, or like wash our face or something? Well, some guy is in there watching you. And you're completely aware of there being some weird disturbance in there? Nah, man. Can we leave now, please? Maybe, maybe she wants to die, guys. I don't know. Was that my... Did that... Someone... So there's someone at the door. All right, yeah, we're coming right now. Please help us. Who is it? Oh, just open the door. It's him. It's him. It's him. Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? We didn't. I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that, is that why your eyes are all red? Mention the coffee machine. Yeah. Did we do it? Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine here. It's right over there. Okay, okay, here. I've had enough of your crazy goons here. For once, I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. I hate my job. Bro, you know who's in here with me? Wait. Yeah, you want to leave with me? 
I don't want to go back in there, sir. So we lead him to the coffee machine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come this way. Let me show you exactly where we're going. So the redness to the corner is our eyes flaring up. So at the moment, why was the microphone sequence even happening? You know, where the mic things like popped up? There was nothing really to hide from, from what I could tell. Wait, hold up. This guy's boot is open. Is he coming? I think he is. Wait. Um, I don't see no coffee machine. It was right here. This is where we went. He's gonna look at us like we're crazy, guys. Where is it now? Um, uh, it was right here. Go back to your room. I swear to God, it was right here. For some reason, his demeanor completely changed. I said go back now. No, dude. Did you not hear me? I said go back to your room and don't get out. Check the table by the TV. The table by the TV. Why? Why do you want me to check? Are you serious? There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. And that's all he says over and over again. All right, here we go. Back to our room then. Um, this is not gonna go well. Number nine. The lights are all off. Turn the lights on. Turn the we can't flick the lights on? What the freak? That thing is open a slight bit. Check the table by the TV. This here. Do we really want to take this? Maybe it will help with the uh, whatever the freak we were given. I sure hope he was right. Requires water. So just over here. Please don't. Don't jump me, man. Here we go. Click the water. All right. We take the pills. Our mind is clear. I hope. Now from here on, let's see what happens. We should be okay. There was definitely someone in the closet, though. Watching us do our thing. It's open. Look, we can see through that. There's no one in there. Should we just see? I don't think I should really try and open the, um, the door for the bathroom. I feel like that's going to be a trap. Check into here. We're good. Okay. Head should be somewhat clear. Let's try and sleep one more time, maybe. There's still red in our eyes, though. We see that? Yeah, this doesn't seem to do much of anything, though. I'm resting up, but it don't seem like this is what the game wants us to do, perhaps? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Yo, what? What's happening? What's happening? There's someone out there talking. What were they? They were whispering. That was definitely from the outside. Um... Who the freak? Who is this? Look at this guy. Don't knock my door. Don't knock that door. Is he knocking the door? I didn't feel Hello. safe going out. Did he knock just then? Hold on, hold on. Yo, guys, I don't get what's happening. It look is he stood outside? I can't tell. Hello. Oh, freak. Who is it? Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please, please open the door. Nah, man, you heard him whispering, right? Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Go away, I'm gonna call the cops. Pretty lady. Oh! Don't say a thing. I can say this. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get the police involved, as it would have affected the motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult, or a drug ring, or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on a long road trip again. I would always take the airplanes. Yo, what the heck? Is that it? And that's a wrap right there. There's my car going away, Survivor? 
Yo, what the freak, man? I, I, I'm gonna have to straight up say the checkpoints at the end were so bad for this game. If you, like, die at the very end of the game, which we did, it takes, like, 10, 15 minutes to get back there, and it's a walking sim where you repeat the same steps. I would have much preferred for a checkpoint in the bed so you could get going with that thing again and not lose the tension from the situation. But this was such a weird little adventure about someone that went to a game convention, and then this is what happened when they tried taking a route that wasn't the highway. That place was all clogged up, and as a result, they nearly lost their life. You see, room number four. From the start, we knew there was something suspect going down there, and we were correct. Whoever was in there doing some weird stuff, creepy. That's all I'm saying. So, the whole urban legend thing, is it, was it about that guy most specifically, or the cult-like following that maybe they had? You notice how he was wearing, it looked like all white, so maybe that was some kind of bizarre dress sense I like to wear around this place. I don't know. Really weird, but a very enjoyable adventure. I know the edited version that you guys are going to see is going to be far better than my playing experience, just because of the ending alone. The checkpoints, they were rough, that's all I'm going to say. A very nice addition, though, to the fears to fathom list. That, I said before, was the second episode. It looks like they're going for five with this thing. I just think the only thing about this game that needs work is nothing to do with the game itself, but just really the checkpoint placement because, yeah, I said before, I think that last one was a little bit too far away from the end. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this one too. That took us down a pretty dark route down some back place where this little dusky old motel, I guess it had some weird members. Hotel manager though choose to take care of him himself and not report it to the police. Kind of shady if you ask me, you know? Do you rather get another $40 bill from someone sleeping the night versus actually keeping this place safe. So, you know, quite the weird trade, but uh, I guess at least our character Alice did survive. There was no explanation on the dog food though, like, why'd I get that? Like, it didn't give me any further intel, no closing cutscene, like, oh yeah, also the dog didn't starve to death, I would've been sick. Either way, guys, this was Fears to Fathom, Northwood Hitchhike, and I am looking forward to the third installment in this series. This was really cool. If you guys also did enjoy this episode though, why not drop me that like rate? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So, thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy. I will, of course, see you on the next one. Thank you.